Short Western zip boots are a great option for those of you out there who like to wear slim jeans. And I wanted to get a pair just for use in examples here on the channel. And I ended up getting this pair from shopgoodwill.com with a winning bid of $6.99. So I thought it would be fun to just go over the features of this real quick and talk about zip Western boots in general. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do Western boot content, jeans content, and music videos on a regular basis, and I would like to have you here for all of it. Today, I wanna talk about Zip Western boots, specifically this one from Durango. Like I said, I got a couple of videos coming up where I wanted a Zip Western boot to use as an example. And I have done a little bit about Zip Western boots in the past, but haven't really made it a main area of focus. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. But first, we gotta break down the details of this Durango Zip boot with the rundown. This is Durango model number TR820, and it features full grain leather on the top and around the foot. This is a beautiful black color, and it cleaned up really nice. It wasn't this beautiful when I got it. And if you wanna see my process of cleaning up used boots, I just made a video about that. You can see it above. This also features a medium round toe, and you can see that it also features that Western toe bug or bug and wrinkle. So this will look like a cowboy boot under slim jeans even though it is really short. Speaking of how short it is, it only comes in at six inches tall. And you can see that zipper along the top as well. It features a one and a half inch composite heel, probably plastic. On the bottom here, we have a rubber outsole. Nothing too crazy, it'll give you a little bit extra traction from what you'll get with a leather outsole, but uh, it's not that aggressive. On the inside, it's lined with pigskin around the top and a thin cloth around the foot. And as an insole, we have a non-removable cloth insole. Both of those things are cost savings methods, uh, which makes sense because this is made in China and I got it from shopgoodwill.com used for $20.93 with shipping. So I won with a $7 bid, but then of course they tack on a bunch of extra money for shipping and handling and it ended up being around $21. Now it's time to try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. All right, so I got the Durango zip boots on right now, and I have them with a slimmer jean. This is the Levi's 511, which doesn't work with all of my cowboy boots. It can work with some, depending on how narrow the tops are, but really, this is a great example of how slimmer jeans can work great with Western zip boots. You can kind of see the zipper there on the side because these jeans don't come all the way down, but for the most part, it's pretty much looking like a normal cowboy boot. You know, that cloth insole isn't my favorite that's in there because cloth insoles, they break down pretty much the fastest of any insole that uh, is out there. And with it being non-removable, you really can't get it repaired ever. It's a cost savings method for some boot companies. And here it's definitely not the best feeling, but still for $20, it's not bad for an example. Uh, this is size 11 and a half D, which is just a little bit big for me. So. I'm a 12B and a lot of times with D widths, I have to size down to an 11. So this is just a little bit wide for me, uh, but that's okay because I can put a removable insole in there, like a thin one, you know, and fill out that space a little bit, which will help the cloth insole last longer as well. It'll protect that cloth insole, which again is not removable. So, uh, I guess that's just a nice little win there. I don't plan on wearing these a bunch, 
but I did want them for an example, and I know there's several of you out there who are interested in Western zip boots, so I figured this would be a fun video to make. Here's the POV, and from this angle, you really can't even tell that it's not a full cowboy boot. You still have a medium round toe, which is classic, and also that classic Western bug and wrinkle, or toe bug, as many folks like to call it. It looks just like a regular cowboy boot from here, doesn't it? All right, guys, so this is gonna be a great boot for me to use as examples here on the channel, and I have had zip boots in the past. I owned two Zip Aldo boots, and I wouldn't recommend Aldo boots. They split and broke in very strange areas. They're very cheaply made, definitely overpriced in my opinion. So for those of you who want to get into cowboy boots but really don't want to buy a whole bunch of new jeans because these cowboy boots probably won't go with a lot of your jeans if you're just trying to make the switch, then uh, a great transitionary boot to see if it's something that you would be into is a zip western boot like this Durango here. I mean, there's several brands that make Western zip boots, Tacovas, Abilene. I mean, pretty much everybody will make a short zip Western boot. So it really just comes down to what you're looking for in a boot because several different brands will have their own versions of a Western zip boot. What do you guys think of Western zip boots? Let me know down in the comments. You'll be seeing these uh, a lot more here on the channel. Well, maybe not a lot more, but in future videos as I did get them for an example and maybe I'll wear them around on a regular basis as well. But uh, after wearing zip boots in the past, I'm gonna pretty much be sticking with the traditional cowboy boot style. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Sometimes you gotta have that zip In a western boot so the jeans can fit there ain't nothing wrong with it As long as you like the looks of it Sometimes you gotta have that zip yeah. Thanks so much for watching today Why don't you check out this other quick impression video up here Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time Peace, have a good one